My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a special Camaro sitting right here. It's a 56,000 mile original sheet metal rally sport with factory air, power steering, power disc brakes, has the super sport package, trim package added to it. Gorgeous color, it's a special ordered color. Nice, nice Camaro. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs. You'll see about 100 photos, get the price of this car, and a few hundred other collector cars are all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified first as they come out. But for right now, let's go for a spin in this RS Camaro. Yeah, it's a 1968 Camaro. Underneath the car is exceptionally nice. There's photos on our website. You'll see the floors were all cleaned and just painted a semi-gloss. It's nice smooth metal, all the factory ribs and seams, and it doesn't look like it's patched up at all. Matter of fact, the inner rockers still have the little rubber uh, drain, uh, little drain things there, and, and the plugs behind the tires are still there. Uh, the front end was rebuilt. I seen they got spring helper in the spring uh, so uh, maybe it sat too low with the bigger tires, they're trying to raise it up. But other than that, the front end is all rebuilt. The ball joints, bushings, uh, it's all been redone. It has a, uh, they replaced the dual exhaust system with the correct style. It has a transverse muffler in the back that goes sideways. Uh, the gas tank's been painted and cleaned up. Uh, brakes were redone. The parking brake cable system looks like it's complete has disc brakes in front with the stainless braided uh, hoses. It has its VIN number matching power glide transmission. So that's all about the underside. Now the top side's where it gets even better. 1967, they had deep water blue. This is a dash on the trim tag. This was special ordered. Someone wanted the deep water blue in 68. Stunning color. Oh man, I love dark blue and this one just hits it right on the head. It's a gorgeous uh, color. Decked out, they put the SS hood on it with the SS grills, the SS emblems, got spoilers, got the stripe. So it's really a nicely decked out car. Rally wheels, 15 inch rallies. The body's super clean. All metal fenders, the bottom of the doors are clean. Those are the original quarters. I was just in the trunk with a flashlight. There's no splices or seams, so it's original metal. Look at the gaps. If you watch my videos, you know I love it when the gaps are right on the money and this thing fits square and flush. It's, it's nice. That's nice. So really, really clean body. The paint is gorgeous. You stand back, look at the car, it, it's stunning. There are some flaws. There's a couple small bubbles, like half the size of my pinky nail, a couple little things going on right there. All the trim looks like it's been replaced. The reverse lights, the bumper, SS gas cap. Part of the Rally Sport package is they move the reverse lights from here below the bumper. So that's part of the RS. All the trim. The stainless, the gutters, the trim on top of the doors. This is part of the Rally Sport. Uh, door handles, mirrors, all this trim. Emblems, it's all been replaced. Marker lights, the grill, the bumper, all that is new. Or replaced when they restored it a few years ago. The trim on the wheels is all new. The tires look new. Of course, the Rally Sport has the hidden headlights. I'll demonstrate those in a minute. They were just upgraded. Instead of vacuum, they put a Detroit Speed electric motors. They zip right open. VIN number matched, original to the car, 327. This is an unmolested motor compartment. Still has the original two-barrel carburetor. How many Camaros in existence still have a two barrel. People have thrown them away, put four barrels on there. So if you want a nice unmolested car, 
Not only is it the original tube barrel, it has the original air cleaner assembly, the heat riser tube going down to the exhaust manifold is still there. That's the type of stuff. Guy takes the air cleaner off, puts it back on, forgets the tube. It's very authentic under there. Sharp looking uh, with a blue interior. In the interior, it's 56,000 miles. It shows the right amount of patina. The door panels are new. The seats have probably been recovered. The carpets are a little, a little faded or stained. It's a light color carpet. Uh, the, it has the console with the horseshoe shifter. That's in good shape. The light works at the back of the console. It has all the seat belts front and back. Dash area is real nice. The instruments are real nice. It's a factory air car, so all the vents and controls are just where the factory put them. Door jams are painted beautifully, has new weather strips. And back to the motor compartment, original valve covers, manifolds, uh, brackets, everything is completely stock. It has power brakes, power steering, factory air. The metal's clean, it still has the original spring clamp battery cables. They did put reproduction GM hoses. Uh, on the firewall, there's still the crayon markings from the going down the assembly line. And like I said, the trim tag there has a dash where the paint code would be a special ordered color. So it's got the shroud. It's a very clean, unmolested motor compartment. I purposely left the windows up on this side. You can see how nicely they fit. The door shuts beautiful. The windows fit nice. The windshield's new. All the class is very clear. There's a couple light scratches. I did notice right at the top, it's a little beveled or chipped on the edge right there. Pop open the trunk. Has its original rear end, too. So complete number matching drive line. Super clean metal, no patches, no cuts. And like I said, I looked up in here. It's the original quarter panels. Under here in the jam is painted as nice as the car. The seams, the factory seams are nice. New rubber, new stickers. Uh, very neatly spatter painted in there. Inside here, it's all clean and tidy. The carpet, it's two pieces and it's short right here. I'd replace the carpet. I think it's a hundred and something bucks. Didn't even touch the gas. Just a nice, unmolested cruiser. The headliner is real nice and tight. The dome light works. I didn't hear the headlights open. I'm glad they did. I just bragged about them. There's a hairline crack right here in the paint. That's a stress crack. And there's a little tiny crack. It looks like a hair laying on the paint there. A couple minor imperfections, but it shows great. The glass, the trim, the paint, the whole package, it's really impressive. That's how nice that runs, too. So visit Volo Car, even the key buzzer works. So usually I don't say anything about the mileage unless I feel pretty confident. I can't guarantee miles on a 1968 car. The key buzzer works. The heat riser tube is still on the air cleaner. Original metal, the windows and glass and doors fit so nice. I believe the mileage is actual. And that's what's claimed to be and I believe it. Visit volocars.com. There's a whole staff of people that are ready to help answer any of your questions or concerns about the car, the process, the paperwork, financing, the delivery. We can help with all of that. If you enjoyed watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you'll be notified first. Thanks for watching.